an author, your brand is you. Okay, now in today's video, I'm not going to talk about the whole author branding, what it is, how you do it, that kind of thing, because we've already covered that in the past. What I do want to talk to you about is doing a brand audit. Okay, now this is very important, should be done, I do mine, I do two big ones a year. I do one sort of at the beginning of the summer, and then I do one... Um, towards the end of the year for, for New Year as well. So I'm doing it like once every six months, a really big audit. Um, I also do smaller audits monthly. Okay, now the reason behind this in, and well, first of all, what is a brand audit? What, what does it um, do? It measures your current state of your brand. Okay, now the reason why this is important is because obviously if you are, which I hope you are, thinking about um, your writing career from a business point of view as well, um, then you should be measuring um, your statistics and things so you can see from your marketing efforts um, that you, you've built in your, your marketing plan what's working and what's not. Okay, because obviously you want to be spending your time writing more fabulous books for your readers. Um, but obviously you do have to do marketing and things as well. You need to make sure that you're on course with both of those. Okay, both your books and also the marketing that you're doing to create your brand um, as well. So by doing a brand audit, you can check um, things like doing a search on Google, for example, for your name or your genre and things to see where you come up. Um, according to search results because this is obviously one of the main ways that people are going to be finding you okay what keywords are they using that are going to take them to you okay the same thing on Twitter Facebook or whatever you need to be doing a check um, for example on Twitter you can use their advanced search to see the sort of posts that people are sharing from your site the, the things that they're saying about you because sometimes for example they won't actually tag you directly in the tweet, they'll just put your name or the title of your book or something on there. So you need to be checking those as well so that you can make sure that where your brand is going and how people are seeing you, how it's perceived and everything is actually in line with how you wanted it to be. And if it's not, then you need to make some adjustments and you need to realise what it is that you're doing that is taking them off course. Okay, so make sure you do a brand audit. And uh, if you found this useful, then please click the like button. Also, click subscribe so you don't miss out on new uploads. And hop on over to jolinstyle.com um, and connect with me there too. There you will also find um, the free subscription for my monthly newsletter where I share lots and lots of tips about what I'm doing as my brand auditing. And I also share lots of uh, behind-the-scenes statistics and, and tactics and things that I'm using as well. Um, so anyway, I hope you'll find all that useful and I will see you next time. Bye!